for this set of questions, we are just going to be looking at these two equations here. So make sure you have your rules in front of you. If you're not sure how to use the rules, you can go and watch a video that I've done on that. All right, first thing we need to do is to circle all the numbers. Seconds is going to be time. Amps is going to be current. The equation that we have is Q equals I times T. I is 2 amps. The time is 4 seconds. So our answer is 8 coulombs. What is the voltage when 36 joules of work is done and 4 coulombs of charge is passed? So this here is charge. This is work done. The equation we have is potential difference equals work done over charge. So that is 36 divided by 4. That will give us an answer of 9 volts. Find the charge when 7.5 amps flows for 60 seconds. So this is our time. This is our current. And our equation is Q equals I times T. I is 7.5 amps. Time is 60 seconds. So we just times those two together. That is going to be 450 coulombs. So what is the work done when we have 19 volts and 17 coulombs? So this here is charge. This is potential difference. And the equation we're going to be using is potential difference equals work done over charge. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either rearrange the equation first or you can put the numbers in first. I like to put the numbers in first. Now because this is a divide we need to take the 17 up to the other side by timesing it. So we're going to get 19 times 17 which is going to equal 323 joules of work. So find the current when the charge is transferred at 19 coulombs every 2 minutes. Now our standard unit for time is seconds, so we need to convert that into seconds. So that is 2 times 60, which equals 120 seconds. So we have Q equals I T. This is our time. This is our charge. So we have 19 equals I times 120. We need to take 120 over to the other side. So we have 19 divided by 120, which gives us 0 0.16 amps. So what is the charge transferred if the potential difference is 79 volts and the work done is 1.7 kilojoules? Now we have 1.7 kilojoules, we need to convert that into joules and we do that by timesing it by 1000, so that is going to give us 1700 joules. The equation we have is V equals W over Q. We have 79 volts, we have 1,700 joules, and that is going to be over Q. Now this one is slightly more complicated to rearrange than the others. We need to do 79 times by Q equals 1,700, and then we need to get Q on its own, so we need to take 79 over to the other side until we actually end up with 1,700 divided by 79, which is going to give us 21.52 coulombs. So in one hour, that is our time, 
sometimes they are going to write units time like this just um, to really really try and test you 1.5 kilocoulombs of charge is passed so first of all 1.5 kilocoulombs need to be transferred turned into coulombs so that's times 5,000 so that's 1,500 and then one hour needs to be turned into seconds. So to do that we have to first turn it into minutes and then times it, turn it into seconds. So one hour is 60 seconds and then we times it by 60 again to get 3,600 seconds. So these are the numbers we are actually going to be used, using in our equations. We have Q equals I times t. So we have 1,500 as our charge. I am trying to find times by 3,600. We need to take your 3,600 over to the other side. So we get 1,500 divided by 3,600, which is going to give us 0 0.42 amps. So two circuits are being tested, one has a potential difference of 27 volts and carries 14 coulombs of charge, the other has a potential difference of 72 volts and transfers 1.4 coulombs of charge. This is the sort of situation where it's really, really important for you to circle the relevant numbers and um, start to label them properly. So here we have potential difference of circuit 1 um, and this is charge of circuit 1, this is charge of circuit 2, and this is potential difference of circuit 2. So if we look at circuit number 1 over here, we have V equals W, Q, we have uh, 27 equals W over 14, so that is going to be 27 times 14 equals W27 times 14 gives us 378 joules. So change colour to do circuit T for you to make it a bit clearer. So we have uh, V, sorry, V equals W over Q, our V in this situation is 72 trying to find W and times that by one dividing that one point four. So seventy two times one point four is going to equal one hundred point eight joules. So the answer we're looking for is circuit one does more work. Again, this one is very wordy. So, Sophia and Nisha are racing toy cars. It takes a charge of 39, so let's just label that as Q for Sophia, and a current of 17 amps, so that is current for Sophia, for Sophia's car to reach one mile an hour, and it takes Nisha's car seven to, uh, 19 coulombs, so let's label that as charge for Nisha and a current of 21 so let's label that as I for Nisha. So by circling things and labelling them we've taken a very very complicated question and we've actually made it a lot easier. Whose car will reach this speed first? So we're going to be working out the time. So if we do Sophia over here we have Q equals I T Q for Sophia was 39 and this equals 17 times T. So T is going to equal 39 divided by 17. So that is going to be 2.29 seconds. Just change colour to make things a bit clearer for you. So here we have Q equals I T. 
Q for Nisha was 19, current was uh, chart, current was 21, and that is times time. So it is going to be 19 divided by 21 equals the time. 19 divided by 21 gives us 0 0.90 seconds. So Nisha's car is going to take less time to get to the same speed. So this is a tricky one um, because we're going to need to use two equations here. So we have two minutes, that is our time. We have 19 volts, that is our potential difference. And we have two amps, that is our current. So I'm just going to label that as I. And we need to find the work done. Now I'm using two different equations in this video. So it shouldn't be too hard for you to work out which two we're going to be using. So first of all, we have Q equals I times T. And the thing with T is that it is two minutes. We need to convert this into seconds. So that is 120 seconds. So Q equals 0 0.2 times 120. So 0 0.2 times 120 equals 24 coulombs. Then we have V equals W over Q. Our V equals 19. Our W is still W and 24 um, from the first equation that we did. And then we end up with uh, 19 times 24 equals 4, 5, 6 joules. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscan.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.